You have been, in my view, one of the very toughest and strongest Home Secretaries on law and order issues that we've seen in many, many decades. Uh, and you have taken a zero tolerance uh, approach towards, uh, towards crime in, in the UK. And you have actively increased police numbers in, in mm -hmm. Britain. Quite the opposite of all mm -hmm. these sort of defund the police campaigns that you're seeing on, on the left in, in the United States across many cities. But the, the British government has taken a very different approach. We need more police on the streets. Uh, we need to have a, a zero tolerance approach towards, uh, uh, towards uh, criminal activity. And could you talk a bit about your, your law and order uh, approach, which, which I think would, would actually be a, a very good example for, for so many leaders in the United States as well? Well, of course, and you know, we are nothing as conservatives if we don't stand up for the values of law and order. Um, and I've spoken very, very openly when I first became Home Secretary about restoring the Conservative Party in the United Kingdom as the party of law and order, and doing so for some very, very good reasons. Um, increasing police officer numbers. I mean, again, you know, the British public, I think the public, wherever you go in the world, they want to know that they are going to be safe and secure in their communities and in their neighbourhood. And with that, of course, that means more visibility when it comes to policing, police officers on the streets, um, and more police officers effectively arresting criminals and doing much more preventative work when it comes to crime. But I've gone further, um, not just in terms of recruiting more police officers, but actually toughening our laws and strengthening many of our laws when it comes to sentencing and sentencing powers. Now, that area doesn't actually sit, sit solely with me. It sits within the equivalent of the DOJ here, our Ministry of Justice. Um, but even so, we have worked across our government to make sure that we have the highest sentences, um, the most stringent sentences. So, for example, on attack planning for counterterrorism, mm -hmm. we have changed our laws and we have increased sentences now to over 14 years, and there's a whole raft of work that we have taken place there. Um, and as we speak, we have going through the House of Lords, our second chamber, um, a piece of legislation called the Police, Crime, Courts and Sentencing Bill, and it effectively does what it says on the tin. It empowers the police to be tougher in their acts around sentencing. It actually does a great deal to protect the police as well. So, I mean, it is appalling, absolutely appalling, that the left take this position to defund the police. They also spend a great deal of time now attacking the police, from what I can see. And um, we believe in protecting our police officers. So we are putting in new, a new covenant um, to protect our law enforcers and emergency workers from attacks and things of that nature. But alongside that, I've also put in new powers and new laws, strengthening laws around protests, the type of protests that basically undermine our way of life. So protests that lead to economic disruption and economic harm. Um, we've recently had nine protesters, I think it is this week, who have been given sentences for effectively causing disruptions to our strategic road network across the United Kingdom. Um, there's a tendency for some of them to claim that they're environmental campaigners to glue themselves to our strategic road network, which is absolutely counterproductive to the economic health and well-being of our country, but also some of the other activism that we have seen. So I fundamentally believe that the British public Yes, they want safety and security. Yes, they want the freedom to go on and live their lives and pursue their lives all within the rule of law and be protected by um, the laws and sentences that we have. But at the same time, I think it sends a very, very powerful argument and support back to our police for them to know that their government, that their government of the day is on their side and that we back them and support them.